Hi, this is Denson Paul Pollard, and I'm recording this video as a reference for anyone that might be interested in learning the bass trumpet part to Wagner's Das Rheingold from his Ring Cycle, the very first opera. Uh, this is going to be played on a C bass trumpet, a four valve C bass trumpet, and the part is a handwritten C bass trumpet part uh, written out by Roger Smith in 1961. No transpositions, it's all in C. And I thought I would start by giving you screenshots of each page of that so that you have it. Page one. Page two. Page three. Page four. Page 5 and page 6. So, one of the interesting things about the bass trumpet part of uh, the ring cycle is that oftentimes you're playing solo, sometimes you're playing with the trumpet section, sometimes with the trombone section, sometimes with the first trumpet or the third trumpet, or sometimes with the Wagner tubas. And I'll try to point those times out to you. So the opening of uh, opening material of the bass trumpet part of Das Rheingold it, with the trumpet section, and it's a series of uh, uh, arpeggiated motifs uh, after the French horns open the opera, and it should be soft and dolce. So that's the opening. The next material you have on bass trumpet is a solo, and the rest of the orchestra stops, and it should be piano. You need to hear the 16th, and we need to hear the hairpin crescendos at the end of the long tones. The next material is just a really loud note that comes out of nowhere after about five trumpet calls. Now, after this, at the beginning of scene two, is the first of uh, several brass chorales where the bass trumpet is embedded in the middle of this. Uh, should be piano and dolce and legato. Different conductors will ask for different uh, uh, different things to be emphasized in the middle of this chorale, but uh, as a general rule, it should be legato and dolce. The next material for the bass trumpet is a soft rhythmic motif with the third trumpet.
another brass corral. thing you have is another triplet rhythmic lick with uh, the trumpets. The next material is with the trombone section, and it's the music for the entrance of the Giants into the opera. This is at big number 21. It's marked Molto Pesante, and it should be really strong and powerful. careful on that uh, lick to not step in any holes and not play an extra hit at the end of that. Uh, the next material for the bass trumpet is with the first trumpet and it's a, uh, a sixteenth note triplet right at the beginning of the spear motive that the trombones play. Slurred preferably. The next uh, thing for bass trumpet is a, uh, a dolce solo all by yourself. Then we have another little rhythmic motif with one of the trumpet players. We next have another real solo, genuine solo. It should be uh, pianissimo and legato. It's at the end of uh, a brass chorale. It's the last thing uh, we hear from the chorale. Now, the next uh, thing bass trumpet has is a really loud, powerful call. At the beginning, uh, you're, you're solo, and then uh, you join the first trumpet. So the first one is solo, the second one is with the first trumpet. for bass trumpet and first solo, for first trumpet, excuse me. The next uh, material is with one of the section trumpet players. Again, another long, loud note. The next thing you have in scene three, big number 40, is the first of uh, a couple of soft chorales with the third trumpet. I think there are a couple of woodwinds in on it as well.
next thing is uh, a solo that's unison with the first trumpet, so it's important to blend with their sound and uh, go with their intonation. <laughs> Then we have another uh, one of the soft growls with the third trumpet. This is at the beginning of scene four, uh, big number 61. Now the next thing we have as bass trumpet players is a big build up by the brass section that ends with the highest note in the ring cycle for the bass trumpet, a high F sharp. There are uh, several uh, crescendo subito pianos in this, very important dynamics. The next thing we have in the middle of scene four, uh, big number 66 is uh, really the only lick with a trill in the ring cycle for bass trumpet. Next one thing we have is a uh, an eighth note triplet lick with the trumpet section. Then we have another uh, brass section chorale. And then we get to the last page of Das Rheingold, the big lead up to uh, the entrance of the gods. And there are several sections of rhythmic triplets uh, with the trumpet section, sometimes solo, finally ending with the entrance of the gods, but up an, an octave from the bass trombone uh, part.
Trumpet part to Wagner's Das Rheingold. 